I can feel the warmness in the top half of the phone but I can continue to play the games. The bad news is the temperature of the phone is still pretty high and is around 41 degrees. Hey what's up guys welcome back to smartphone world. Poco M3 is the all new budget smartphone from Poco that packs best in class budget gaming processor from Qualcomm the Snapdragon 662 which should provide good gaming experience. In this video we are going to put Poco M3 to test and see if the phone can handle long gaming sessions. We are going to play 3 high graphics games continuously for 60 minutes and check the temperature and battery of the phone on quick intervals to see if there are any heating issues. First let me show the temperature and available battery on the phone. The battery is at 36%, ambient temperature is at 30 degrees and the phone temperature is around 31 degrees. Let's launch Call of Duty, a high graphics intensive shooting game from Activision. Let's play a multiplayer game. First things first, the graphics looks good on the phone and the touch response is pretty fast. For this gaming test, the graphics was set to very high and I tried everything in the game from running around to shooting enemies, Snapdragon 662 processor handled everything smoothly. I did notice occasional frame drops when the graphics was set to high but overall the gameplay was pretty smooth. Poco M3 has dual speakers that provide great sound even when playing games in landscape mode. I record the gameplay using inbuilt MIUI screen recorder as well. Even then there are only occasional frame drops or hiccups. It's been more than 25 minutes since we started the gaming test. The battery has dropped from 36% to 29% and the temperature of the phone rise from 31 degrees to 41.5 degrees. I can feel the warmness in the top half of the phone but I can continue to play the games. For the next 20 minutes let's play Free Fire and see how Poco M3 handles this game. I played a survival match and I have set the graphics to ultra. Overall the gameplay was pretty smooth and there are no frame drops or hiccups even during intense action. Snapdragon 662 proves that it can handle high graphics game. It's been 55 minutes since we started the gaming test. The battery has dropped from 29% to 22%. The bad news is the temperature of the phone is still pretty high and is around 41 degrees. I know it's a budget smartphone but I feel Poco could have done a better job in handling thermals in Poco M3. Let's finish the gaming test by playing Asphalt 8 for the next 15 minutes. We'll start with career mode. In Asphalt, the graphics was awesome with ample amount of details in car and race tracks. I was driving the car intentionally towards other racers to create frequent crashes. Even then the gameplay was smooth and there were no frame drops. A point to note here is, I have been using MIUI's inbuilt screen recorder to record the gameplay as well. This in turn will add more load to the processor and GPU and might take a toll in battery life. I am pushing the phone to its limit, playing games at high graphics, recording the gameplay and as you guys can see, Arduino 610 GPU on Snapdragon 662 processor handles all the tasks I throw at them with ease. The clock has surpassed the 1 hour mark and the battery has dropped from 22% to 19%. Finally, the temperature of the phone dropped and was around 36.5 degrees. In Poco M3, if you play high graphics intensive shooting games such as Call of Duty, Free Fire, the phone gets pretty hot in the top half. But if you play casual games like Survey Surface, Asphalt, the phone keeps its temperature under check. Poco M3 battery drained by just 17% after 1 hour of continuous gaming. Being a budget smartphone, I would definitely recommend Poco M3 for gamers who have a budget around 10,000. If you are planning to buy one, please use the link in description to make the purchase and help our channel. I have already uploaded a gaming test video of Meet and I. If you guys are interested, please do check the video. 
So what do you guys think about Poco F3's gaming performance? Share your thoughts in the comment section. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. And you guys, have a great day.